Yeah. What's in there, June? What do you got, Roger? Did you get gopher? Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm not taking a tire off just so you guys can get a gopher. It must be in there. Why can't get it in there? <laughs> Dogs are on your own. I'm not sticking my hand in there. I couldn't get my hand in there anyway. Well, sometimes you just gotta go gopher hunting. Somehow that gopher is up in the brake drum and the brake shoes. I'm not taking a tire off to get him out of there. He's stuck up in there, so we'll probably get to listen to the dogs bark at him all day long. Fun, fun. Well, now it's my turn to go play with big wheels. Got uh, all the derp sprayed yesterday, dad spraying spring wheat today. Grasshoppers are back. So hopefully we'll finish spraying in the spring wheat here today yet, or maybe first thing tomorrow, and then we'll switch over to straight insecticide and go take care of those grasshoppers. Cause so far we have 40 acres of spring wheat that's gone. I have to probably replant that. And then they're working on the barley pretty hard too. So the last field we seeded is not coming up in spots because of the grasshoppers who are chewing it off as it comes out. So, I'm not sure how that's going to work. If we'll have to reseed that or since it's so young, it'll just keep coming. I, I don't know. But we're going to go seed some oats in the canola field where we could not seed canola back when we were seeding canola because of the water holes. Sit in the water holes. Water sitting in the water hole. Water in the low spots flooded out where I couldn't seed. We're going to go fix that. Put wings down a little bit faster than the 100 footer, but a little less productive than the 100 footer. Here is where we are going to seed. You can see the green, that's a canola. This was all sprayed two or three days ago, so we're ready to go. I'm not going to sit in that shop, sit, work in that shop, and listen. Roger and June park it a gopher all day. Did we get him? Did we get him, Roger? If anything, we got him dizzy, right? I don't hear him anymore. Did you get him? Where's that gopher? I don't hear the gopher anymore. Maybe we got him out of there. It didn't work. They're still at the trailer barking. But the trailer's farther away. A little quieter. Anyway, got the draper belt cut and started pulling it out. Yeah. Get this one out, get that one out. Go get the new ones. Sure, a lot less to watch compared to the 100 foot drill. But I feel really lost without blockage sensors, knowing that my seat's pulling. The ground is drying up, that on the ends, I pick the drill up out of the ground, the wind from the air seater blows on the ground, and I can see it in the dust that nothing's plugged. So that's kind of handy. See what I mean? All right. Done with 
it. Let's see, I didn't reset this to begin with. Probably seeded another four acres, so oh, that'll work. 16, 17 acres of oats times 40 bushels. Oh, we'll go to the next spot, see what we get done there. At least you're getting trouble for doing this, but now that's my air drill. I'm just wing it up while we're moving. Yeah, this one's seen its better day. That hole, or those three. That was a hole, that's why I started cutting it there. That was already ripped there, not ripped. That was ripped to here. I ripped it a little farther, getting it out of the, the channel as it rides under. Well, we got the new drapers laid out in the sun, floor swept up. Went ahead and washed off the frame of the header just to get the big junk, all that scaly stuff off of there. So let it sit in the sun for a little bit and dry. Eat some lunch. Maybe the sun will help loosen up the drapers, stretch them out a little bit from being all rolled up. Gopher Saga continues. Ding and Dong have a gopher and it's inside the brake drum. So I brought a welding glove. <laughs> try and get him out of there. I'm tired of listening to you two bark. They've been at this for about three hours. Oh, where are we at? Dude, I don't even think I'm gonna reach up in there. I can't get him. I can't. That's as far in as I can get my hand. I can't see him anymore. I hear him. I don't know where he could be. <laughs> That's crazy. Maybe a piece of wire? Maybe I can chase him out of there with a piece of wire. Let me go get one. Well, it only took a few hours. Four. <laughs> Fished him out with a wire. We got a gopher. Here to see how these LSWs do in the mud, I guess. 6% slip, pretty bad. Seed. A little close to water. Well, I'm impressed. Those, those tires get around pretty good. Now we're gonna like triple C because I don't have sectional control. But that's all right. Oh, I got a hose popped off. Dang it. We'll fix that. At least it shoots in that right direction to where the opener's at. Oh well. Okay. Gopher's gone. The dogs are quiet, finally. Like, I think they probably started out about nine-ish this morning, 9.30 this morning when they found that gopher. Uh, moved the truck, trying to roll it out of the wheel well. It was up on top of the brake shoe and the axle, ABS toner ring, all that. Way back in there, couldn't reach in there with a welding glove. Anyway, found a piece of number nine wire, got a hold of him, pulled him out. The gopher went to the great grass pasture in the sky. And Roger and June are happy, AKA ding and dong. So back to work. The draper belts have been sunning nicely. It's plenty dried off by now. So I'm gonna pull stuff in, pull the slaughter back in and start putting those on. After we get that done, get those laced up, then we'll put the golden cut curry guards and sickles on. That's my plan for the afternoon. Canola starting to bloom and weeds are dying. Things are looking good, but we gotta go knock down some grasshoppers on the last seeded big field of wheat and the barley. That's young and it's getting chewed off. It can't outgrow the grasshopper pressure. So we get that killed. We might have to come back and do some reseed. We'll see what things look like in a day or two. Well, there's one on 
at least in place. Obviously, I haven't laced it up yet. Kind of project by yourself. Woohoo! Here's the lacings that, uh, and the hardware to go with it. Just kind of clamshell together, clamp type. I don't know what you'd call it. Clamps it, it just clamps it. Well, we're going back together with the guards. Definitely a pretty distinct book on how to do it. Certain part numbers, longer bolts, shorter bolts, different hold downs. Obviously that guard's different. These guards are this way for a certain reason and then these carry all the way to the center. I would have showed more, but my camera died. So doing what we can. Anyway, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Pretty easy to go together with it. Pretty nice looking wheat and still some left and none left. Got here a little late, but I can still see there's a lot right here jumping as I'm going. Just maybe, the biggest ones are maybe half to three quarter inch long. So they're not huge yet. They're jumping, they're not flying. So if we stop them now, a couple passes more here, I think they'll It'll be good till we come back to spray the rest of the field. Hopefully. Well, I got five, 640 acres or so sprayed, and moving the sprayer home and uh, living life on the edge. Low fuel. Really low. Really low fuel. We're like a mile from the mailbox, and yeah, I think we're gonna make it. I hope. We're going straight to the fuel tank. Oh, it looks like we're gonna make it. Really curious how many gallons we're gonna put in here because I bet you it's just a gallon or two short of capacity. That's pretty cool because according to Google, I just put 150 gallons in a 140 gallon tank. So I'd say I was almost empty. Or I was empty 10 gallons ago. I don't really know how that works. You know when you have like a million things to do? They're all little projects. Seeding's done. Half or more, more than half of the spraying's done. It's too windy to go spray. The swather's been put back together. Just waiting on filters to change the oil. Your motivation is like in the tank. So I found the lawnmower is quite comfortable spot to just sit for a few and enjoy some coffee. I really should get going. With some. Nobody's here. Tony's doing paying bills. I think. I guess that's a farm thing. Warren's still at home. He's got some stuff going on that he needed to take care of and just chilling in the shop. Should probably clean it up a little bit. We've kind of just left things scattered, you know, because the busy of seeding and all that. Yeah. Time to get to work. Got ourselves a nice little rain shower last night. Well, I got the sprayer filled up in the back of the side by side. Time to go spray the corn. Well, I didn't get to be much part of the finish, but. They did get the swather back together and the new sickles in. Again, this is the Crary Golden Cut. I think right now we're just waiting on a couple filters. Change those out, change the oil, and probably grease it and get it moved over. Start knocking off alpha down. It's like springtime planting is over. So we're putting stuff away. They're tall, I'm not. Always have a slight seat up. Like multitasking here. Taking the seat treater, put it away. Checking out the floor. 
looking good. Might actually get some bushels off of that. Cool. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to grease itself. It's like 2.45. Will I finish it today? <laughs> oh. Might as well get started, right? One down. Number two. So technically, this is the two and a half. Because I'm pretty sure that the first tube was over half. The second time I've changed tubes of two and a half tubes. I'm only doing the three grease circs that are on each row. I have not done any wheels. I have not done the cart. I have not done their mid row banders up front. Only the three, which there is on this side. One in the wheel, one right here, and then that one. That's just the drill rows. So actually that's 300 total greasers just on the drill rows. There's four greasers on each of the mid row banders, so that's another 200. So that's 500 greasers alone just to put seed and fertilizer in the ground. That does not count the wheel hubs, the, the pivots on the wheels, any of that. That does not count the cart, which there's the conveyor, there's those wheels, there's pivots, all that. Well, I quit for today. Emptied four tubes of grease. Hit my head three times. Smashed my fingers twice. And had to get one new battery. And it's like five o'clock and it's kind of slow so i think i'm gonna go home it's been a pretty busy day pretty good day too would you look at that the prickly pears the flowering that's pretty cool hey everybody thanks for watching but don't forget farm hard pray harder see you next video